I love this next story. This is a place that I got to visit recently, the Children's Nature Retreat in Alpine. It is a beautiful animal sanctuary run by this wonderful woman, Agnes. Now, obviously, because of everything happening, you guys cannot operate as normal, and you need help. And who do we have there, Agnes? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so <laughs> here you <laughs> see <laughs> you see the llama. Uh, this is Precious. She's part of the uh, Juicy Little Zoo that I just got, like, uh, on uh, April 1st. Um, I promised this old lady that I will be able to, uh, to care for her animals, and uh, even with the... Uh, shut down we uh we went to uh to pick them up so i have i don't know if you can see yeah i can so see the alpaca uh this is a um orion and next to orion you have the uh uh the mini donkey uh this is josie Josie the donkey. Now, Agnes, <laughs> for those who don't know, let's talk about the Children's Nature Retreat because this is a 20-acre animal sanctuary in Alpine that you created. So briefly tell us about it and what do you do? So we created this animal park. Um, we provide a home for those animals that need a home. Uh, some of them were rescued. Some of them were just like given up by their owners because they didn't have the means anymore or they were too old. Uh, or they were moving and they couldn't keep them. Uh, so we provide this nice home for them and we open to the public normally uh, so the people can actually um, enjoy their interaction and uh, find happiness and love. Uh, it, it's a way for them to uh, get back to nature and, um, and just, just enjoy the time, the peaceful time that we can have at the retreat. So here's the deal. I visited you not too long ago, and I can say firsthand, this is a beautiful place. Oh, the animals are talking. <laughs> you, you know, you guys need help. So now you're changing gears a little, and you are offering virtual tours. You're teaming up with the Association for Human-Animal Bond Studies because you want to keep educating people during this time, and you need to keep open, so we need to send those donations, right? Yes, we need to. Uh, we uh, we try to uh, reward some grants, and we... Uh, um, we are doing um, online uh, lessons uh, right now. So we have uh, one and we have a few coming up um, in the next few days. So it allows kids to learn about our animals. And also we have lessons with craft at the end. So the kids can actually do a craft at home. So it makes it, it, makes it more interactive and more fun for them. Um, people can uh, find uh, those lessons uh, online on our website uh, under the uh, tab education. And so we have lessons with uh, human bond studies and we also do our virtual fair trips and people will have the choice to see like the barnyard. Uh, this is the one that is coming next. It will be the barnyard where they're gonna see uh, the bunnies and the guinea pigs and the pigs, the turkeys, the chicken, the ducks. Um, so, and then we learn about them. So I, I, I cannot stress enough how much I want this all to be over so people can go visit you if they haven't because it is such a great place. Can you show some of the animals again behind you? <laughs> yes, of course. So oh this is God. Orion. He's a blind alpaca. Uh, he had glaucoma at some point, uh, so he's blind. Uh, this is Precious, the llama. And Precious, is, she's the one that uh, protects all the animals. Uh, and be, you see behind Precious, hi, hi. this is Shiku, another alpaca, and oh, this is, um, uh, this is Josie. <laughs> Don't forget her? their names. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Manhattan, actually Manhattan, where is Manhattan? Oh, Manhattan is the alpaca over there. I will show you Manhattan. This is, um, don't move. They're not camera shy. Agnes, um, can we tell people your website and how they can donate? Because you are, you started this place by yourself. Everything is volunteer based and you're doing such a great job. But obviously during this time, we all need help. So how can people help you and what's your website? They can go to uh, childrensnatureretreat.org and slash donate and uh, they can make their donation. You know, if I have a thousand people give us $25, it can, we can pass by for like by two months. Uh, it, it's, um, it doesn't take a lot to uh, keep us alive. 
um, something that I wanted to mention as well, what we are doing is we are starting virtual tours, meaning that people will be live with us um, on uh, Zoom and they will be able to actually visit the retreat uh, live with us. So this is coming up within the next couple of weeks. Agnes, you're doing such wonderful things over there. You're saving these animals. I know recently you saved some animals from an elderly woman who couldn't care for them. So props to you. We're sending all our love. And again, we're going to put up that website so people can go donate and then take part in your virtual tour. So we're going to say bye and then show us the animals as we say bye. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. <laughs>